it was just supposed to be a game to teach students about Black History Month, but instead, it's teaching some in the new Hanover County School District a whole new lesson. Tonight, parents and neighbors packed the school board to demand change and openness following a slavery game being given to students. Our Andrew James was there and joins us now in studio with more. It is a big story at 11. Well, Amanda, the outrage has prompted workshops on top of planned racial bias training for school principals, but now demands from the public that teachers receive the same. This is the first New Hanover County School Board meeting. Not only was it wrong, it was inappropriate, insensitive, and racist. After a parent made public, her child was subjected to a monopoly-like game regarding slavery at Coddington Elementary School. The news outraging the community. I was sickened, horrified, so sad that there were kids in that um, classroom who experienced that. An experience that motivated dozens. Slavery is not a game, it's a horrific part of our past. To come, wearing black and speaking out, telling the school board to know it should not have happened in the first place. This was noticed and identified, and it was a good place to say it's time for change. Change that school board chair Lisa Estep is embracing. School officials say no school staff were punished because of the game, but the board requested an investigation and report on the incident, which is still ongoing. We don't think that teacher did anything malicious, not in my mind racist, not intentionally. Meanwhile, this has also become a launching point for the growth of the school district's equity committee. It's focused on understanding racial biases in schools. They hit. Um, the nail on the head. They address the problem head on. But now it's the continuance of addressing reported bias in classrooms. I think the system has to provide the training so people will not trip over their implicit biases. Tonight, the school board decided to elevate the equity committee to a board committee. That now means meetings, members, and topics of discussion can be made public on the soon to be updated school webpage. School board staff are working to launch racial bias training for teachers and even take them to a two day training session come May in Raleigh. 